Hi everyone, my name is Sebastian. It's very nice to have you over here during this training video. Today I will be covering on how do we ship the vehicle safely as well as how to ensure uh, on the delivery to inspect the vehicle. So let's get things started. Now, many of you ask me what to do, how do we ship the vehicles, whether it's on the sea or on the land to travel from, the, from your warehouse to the customer. Well, the first things first, we have to remember that there are international laws and standards already for vehicle shipping around the world. One of them is very straightforward and simple, and that is discharge your vehicle for to 40% SOC and ensure the BMS is shut down before the shipping. Now, to do that, it's very simple. All you do is open the glove compartment, press the button and hold it for about 10 seconds while making sure the vehicle is shut down. You will hear a hum uh, coming out from the battery, a long beep, that's how you know the vehicle's BMS have been shut down. And to discharge the vehicle, we'll of course take it for, uh, for a small ride or uh, take it for uh, what you call it on the dyno or something like this. Or you can discharge directly the battery into a discharge uh, rig if you have one. Now, one of the other things what we want to ensure is that before you ship the vehicle, you take a small note, a small piece of paper, and write down the battery uh, SOC at the point of the, the vehicle leaving. As well as, don't forget that our vehicles do have the additional 12 volt battery on it, and you should check that one too before shipping and after on the, when the vehicle arrives. So when the vehicles uh, leave our factory, we will have a nice sheet, we will write down all the QCs and the other things on this thing, and then before the, uh, we close the vehicles into the metal frame that we use for shipping, we will write down as well the battery state of charge, as well as the voltage, and we will ensure that the vehicle 12 volt is being checked. When the vehicle arrives at your location, to turn it on, of course you press and hold the button for about 5 seconds of the BMS, you might need to use the entire sequence and put the vehicle into charge at the same time to, uh, to get the BMS started if the transport has been for more than 30 days, which sometimes happens when you wish shipping to Europe. Now, don't forget that when you receive the vehicle after you turn on the vehicle battery, you should be put it straight away back to charging, as well as check the 12 volt battery, make sure there is a nice uh, voltage into it. Now, when it comes to the packaging, the whole thing, we ensure that the vehicle is properly secure inside the metal frame that uh, is surrounded with cardboard in most cases when we're shipping uh, vehicles in the container or uh, we would use the wooden boxing frame on your request. So if you do have a request for additional protection during the LCL shipping, please let me know. Uh, these ones we do have to charge a little bit extra. Now, when you ship the vehicle uh, to make sure that the batteries are protected as well, make sure that the, uh, the area that you're shipping in, the container, is dry, there's no water, there's no other, let's say, condensation things, and make sure that your freight forwarder is very well aware that these are electric vehicles, that there is a battery on it. It is a dangerous goods uh, article at this point, and we need to make sure that they are aware of these things. If you do not tell the shipper about uh, the vehicle itself or you disclose this incorrectly, which you shouldn't, it's illegal, they might load the vehicle at the bottom of the vessel for, for, uh, for ocean shipping or at the very top. Each of these places they do, con uh, they do can get some water into it in the container and we don't want that to happen. Additionally, uh, when we package the vehicle, we put uh, in the containers, we use, uh, what you call it, uh, silicon, uh, silicon bags to soak up all the moistures and inside the wooden uh, crates as well we use those to make sure that there is no water, no condensation has been happening there. Overall, uh, please pay attention to all the rules and regulations in your country, in your, uh, in your areas about the shipping. Make sure the vehicle is shut down for any kind of uh, what you call it, transport. Make sure that the battery is in shut down. Make sure you do your uh, basic uh, check on these things so that everything is good. And then after you receive the vehicle, charge it up, check your 12 volt, make sure everything is good and enjoy the ride. So very straightforward and I hope this was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe and join us uh, on the next uh, videos that we have. Have a nice one, pleasure.